YouTube, it's Marielle here with the Wednesday episode of Dancing With Myself. I hope you are excited because this week is Obsession Week. And if you've seen Amanda's video, you should check it out. It's really cool. But um, yeah, we are basically talking about our obsessions with our things that we are obsessed with. So um, I'm going to talk to you. If you've seen my, some of my past videos, you might know a little bit of what my obsessions are. But um, I'm going to start talking about like some stuff that I haven't covered that much. So, and maybe some past things that I was obsessed with that I'm looking back on and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why was I obsessed with that? So, my first obsession that I want to um, uh, confess, not really confess, but I want to tell you, um, more recently, uh, it's more recent obsession, but um, I love to draw. And if, if you, might, you might know that, you might not, but um, I mentioned it more in my past videos. But um, I love oh, it, it all of my heart and some of my soul. And um, it started probably when I was, it really started when I was about in sixth grade. But I mean, I've always like, as a child, like, I was a child who always like doodled in um, class. I was like, sit, even in kindergarten, I would sit there and I'd doodle on my paper and my teacher would like send angry reports, don't write on your paper! And she would like freak out and I'd be like, sorry, I love to doodle. So I'd, I'd always be that one kid, you'd always see like doodles on the paper. I still have it now, I mean, I just, I do that all the time. But, um, in all throughout elementary school, it was always like, it was always like that. And so in sixth grade, it started, um, my spark of inspiration for it was, uh, I read this book series called The Warrior Series by Aaron Hunter. You might've heard me talk about them before, but they're awesome. If you guys haven't seen them, check it out. And um, basically what it is, it's, it's a series about cats that live in the wild. And like, they have really, it's really good plot, really good characters, like you get so connected with it. It's awesome. And it's a lot of books, so like 30 books. So when I got finished with the first or second series of them, I was like, I should draw all these. I went, oh yeah, I had that, like, you know, like that epiphany where you get where you think you have a really cool idea and you're just like waiting, 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 waiting to get home and you can actually like, like just draw your heart out and you just draw all these drawings. So that's what I did. And so ever since then, uh, I've been drawing them and Really in seventh grade, I started to like come up with my own style, um, and now I can really get into much more detail with them. But uh, and I'm working on them now. I'm working on Photoshop. I'm doing some cool stuff with my art. Um, they look like this. And uh, if you guys want, it'd be awesome. If you guys are kind of interested in that kind of stuff, check out my DeviantArt. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, that would be awesome because I'm always looking for new watchers. If you don't know what DeviantArt is, just totally disregard what I just said. But yeah, that's my uh, first obsession. And uh, yeah, that's it. My second obsession, well, I'm just going to talk about my minor obsession. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I know that you guys probably know a lot about this. I love Doctor Who and Sherlock. I'm all into BBC. And I also love Rubik's Cubes, if you guys probably know that. If you looked at my nerdiness video that I made a while back, you probably know that. Um, and yeah, well now I'm going to talk about an obsession that I had when I was in probably from first grade to fifth, no, fourth or fifth grade. It was elementary school. Um, I don't know why, but ever since when I was little, I had this strange obsession with erasers. Yes, you heard me, erasers. I love them. Again, with all of my heart and a little bit of my soul, I loved them so much. I collected them. I had this giant box that I took with me everywhere. I was like in one of the school boxes, and I took it everywhere with me. And I would like show off my erasers. And on in elementary school, you know how you had like that one desk that you always at the desk in the same classroom. I built eraser towers on my desk, and I had these like you guys remember those like little Fuji monkeys? It, they look like this. If you know what they are, like, were, wasn't, weren't those, like, your entire childhood, like, in elementary school, you were, like, trading them and stuff? Well, that was my childhood. And I made little houses out of erasers for my Fuji eraser monkeys. Oh, my gosh. I was so obsessed. And, um, like, when I found an eraser on the floor, I was like, it's okay. I'll, I'll take care of you. And I, like, I, like, cleaned it up and I put it in my box. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why I was so obsessed. But, um, I love to, uh, make mistakes, I guess. But... And so yeah, that ha that was all until about um, fifth grade. I think it really ended, but um, it's kind of one of my strange obsessions from when I was a child that I wanted to share because I thought that you guys know.
guys had. Okay, and if you guys have any strains, obsessions that you want to share, you can just leave it down in the comments, and that would be awesome because I kind of want to know you guys. I shared mine if you want to share your stuff. But um, I think that's all I have for today, guys. So um, make sure to check out our channel. Um, um, watch Amanda's obsession video and look out for our Macy's obsession video. It's coming out Friday. And also look out for our surprise Saturday video this week. It's going to be awesome. Don't know what it is, but it's going to be awesome. I just know because I'm cool. So uh, I think that's all I have for today, you guys. Make sure to check out the links down below uh, in the basement. And make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and be good, YouTube. Be good. <laughs> no, hot. No, are you seriously doing it? Are you just doing this thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, no, stop recording it. I'm gonna kill you. Lion of the Brave, come and get him.